Hey everyone, it's me, Patrick Paradise, and today's video is going to be don'ts when picking a hamster cage. So let's get to it. 1. Don't always go for the cheapest cage, apart from a bin cage, because most of the common pet shop hamster cages tend to be very small. You can get certain good sized ones, but the majority tend to be very small. That being said, don't go for the small but expensive ones because there's also a lot of small cages that are quite high priced and you're basically wasting your money which you could spend on a really good sized cage or make a bin cage for a much cheaper price. And when I mean small expensive ones, I mean ones like Critter Trails, Rotor Stacks, certain Savic ones. These are just some examples and there are many others as well. These cages alone, not attached to anything, are just too small. So what do we learn from this? Don't let price fool you. 2. Don't always go for the most fun looking cage, although they seem like really cool looking cages. Unfortunately, these kind of cages do tend to be very small, and I think looks are more considered than the actual requirements, because these kind of cages are advertised for children, and they want to sell the cages quite quickly, get a good price for them, and so children are always attracted to them, and obviously they'll buy them straight away. So try not to let looks fool you either. Try and go for a cage that may not be as fun looking but is much more suited to your hamster than the fun looking cages. And lastly, three, don't pick height over ground space because going with a cage that has most height really isn't needed for a hamster and should never replace ground space. What you'll usually find in the cages with tall roofs is that they've considered the height more than they have the ground space which is really no use to a hamster because they aren't going to be spending most of their time climbing the bars, they're going to be staying on the ground where everything is. And it's not changing the ground space or making it any bigger. So just because a cage seems very tall, it's not actually making the cage any bigger because it's not benefiting the ground space whatsoever. All it has done is made the cage more ventilated and gives your hamster a bit more of a climb if they decide to. Also, on a dangerous note, having a cage that is too high can be quite dangerous for hamsters that like to climb because all it takes is one fall and for them to land in a really bad position they could possibly hurt or even break their backs. Hamsters may seem very athletic but they're a lot more fragile than you think and they can't handle balance very well like rats can. So if you are buying a cage that is fairly tall, something like a rat cage, something I suggest doing is hanging different toys under the roof so if they were to fall they're most likely going to land very quickly on the toys instead of going through a nasty drop which will cause some serious damage. So that's the video and they are my three don't tips when picking a hamster cage. I hope you found this helpful and if you're currently looking for a cage I hope this gave you some tips on what not to look for when picking a cage. Also if you want to find out more about cages such as requirements, the good and bad types of cages then I suggest checking out my video on good and bad hamster cages and you may find it helpful. But for now, that's the video. So any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you like our videos and want to see more, then go subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then don't forget to hit that like button. And we'll see you next time. Bye.